the NPTEL exam is just a few days away and if you haven't started serious preparation yet, don't panic. You can still score well if you can plan smartly in these final days. Here is exactly what to do step by step. So in this video, I'm going to share some last moment strategies that can actually help you pass your NPTEL exam confidently even if you are starting late. These are quick practical tips that work for many students in the previous terms. So make sure you watch till end. So before moving further, I am Namrita and welcome back to my channel Nance World where I post the videos related to tech related stuff, job opportunities, internship opportunities and free courses. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to never miss an update. So if you are having few days left for the NPTEL exam, what I would suggest you, focus on weekly assignments. Means first go through all your assignment questions. Trust me, 70 to 80 percent of NPTEL exam questions on based on those. Open the NPTEL portal. Here you can, if you prepare the weekly assignment, then you can pass the NPTEL exam. And if you want to score top marks, then after going through, so after completing your weekly assignment questions, go through the lecture materials. This will help you to score more marks. This will even help you score more marks. But firstly, you need to complete all your assignment questions. So you might be thinking, is it really true or do you have any proof? For that, I am only the proof. So let me show you the proof. So see, this is the proof. Only for reading for 4 to 5 days. I passed the NPTEL exam with the Elite certificate with 67 percentage and you know what this was one of the toughest course which everyone said data science for engineers in data science for engineers mostly problems were there like so if anyone is having problems problematic questions in their NPTEL course so I would suggest uh, go through the assignment questions for pro problematic questions they won't exactly give you the question they will just change the numbers and all so if they give like that how you can prepare so go to chat gpt copy paste the question and solve it how you are solving the problem in that way only you can solve other problems too so by using this strategy you can also do all the problems and get a good percentage so at first i was also not aware of this I did many researches and I asked many people in LinkedIn about this. They also suggested me the same. So they also suggested me to focus on the assignment questions first. Later on go to the course materials. Literally I was not understanding any of the videos. I just gone through the assignment questions and solved some problems. Then I was able to crack it. So there is another criteria to get a certificate that you must get 25% of average of best 8 assignments out of 12 assignments. And exam score is equal to 75% of the proctored certification exam out of 100. So here are the 12 assignments. Out of this, they will take best 8. Means, means the assignment in which you scored more. So in my case, they will select 8, right? So they will select week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4. Week 5, week 6, week 9 and week 10. They will select these and they will do average of it. And that average you need to get 25%. In assignment you need to get 10 marks. And in offline exam that is proctor exam. You need to get 30 marks that is 75%. So finally, finally they will add the average assignment score plus exam score. Even if you get 25 marks in your in your assignments but in the offline exam you got only 20 marks then you will not eligible for the certificate because assignment should be at least 10 and the proctored exam should be 30 so you need to meet that criteria then only you will get the certificate so i would suggest during the exam during the exam attempt all the question because there will be no negative marking so attempt all so even if you don't know the answer just mark any and even if you can answer 60 to 65 percent correctly that's usually enough to pass remember it's not about how early you start it's about how smartly you finish you still have time to pass the nptl just focus stay calm and revise smart all the best for your exam if this video helped you give it a like
share it with your friends preparing for nptel and comment if you have any doubts so that's all for today's video see you in next video till then bye bye